son. And guess who else? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. I welcome you to our Mass today, those of you who are in your hospital rooms, or perhaps those of you who are looking on online. We honor today the martyrs of Uganda, who were martyred in the 19th century for their faith, Charles Lewanda and his companions. Let's begin our Mass by calling to mind that we owe a great deal to all the martyrs, the church thrived in the post-resurrection era by the martyrdom of its members. We thank God for the blessings of those who have made great sacrifices. We acknowledge sometimes our failure to make sacrifices. We ask God's forgiveness for our sins and our failings. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The Almighty God have mercy on us, pardon our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians. Mercifully grant that the field which is your church watered by the blood shed by St. Charles Lewanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest, who our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. first reading is a reading from second letter of Paul to <clears throat> Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, for the promise of life in Jesus Christ, to Timothy, my dear child, grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. I am grateful to God whom I worship. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience, as my ancestors did. As I remember you constantly in prayers, night and day. For this reason, I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have received through the imposition of hands. For God did not give you a spirit do not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor me, a prisoner for his sake. But bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. He saved us and called us to a holy life not according to our works, but according to his own design. And the grace bestowed on us in Christ Jesus before time began. And now made manifest through the appearance of our Savior Christ Jesus, who destroyed death 
and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel, for which I am appointed preacher, apostle, and teacher. On this account, I am suffering these things, but I am not ashamed, for I know him in whom I have believed, and I am confident that he is able to guard what has been entrusted to me until that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response to the psalm is, To you, O Lord, I lift up my eyes. You, to you, O Lord, Lord I, I lift up, up my eyes. eyes. To you I lift my eyes, who are enthroned in heaven. Behold, as the eyes of a servant are the hands of their masters. To you, O Lord, Lord I, I lift up, up my eyes. eyes. As the eyes of a, of a maid are on the hands of her mistress, so are our eyes on you, O Lord, till we have you have pity on us. You to you, O Lord, I lift up my eyes. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. <laughs> Glory to you, Lord. Some Sadducees who say there is no resurrection came to Jesus and put the question to him saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, if someone's brother dies, leaving a wife with no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. There were seven brothers. The first married a woman and died, leaving no descendants. So the second brother married her and died, leaving no descendants, and the third likewise. And the seven left no descendants. Last of all, the woman also died. At the resurrection, when they arise, whose wife will she be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, Are you not misled? Because you do not know the scriptures, perhaps, or the power of God. When they rise from the dead, they neither marry or are given in marriage, but they are like the angels in heaven. As for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the passage about the burning bush, how God told him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He's not God of the dead, but of the living. You were greatly misled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good to see you today. You read the story today. The Lord, I'm... Um, in a way, is questioning of the, the Sadducees, questioning of him. And we also honor, of course, the martyrs in Uganda um, who were martyred for their faith between 1885 and 1887. In 1969, five years after their canonization, we know that Paul VI became the first pope to visit Africa, visiting the place of their execution. But they saw it away. It's a time, I think, to reflect on death. A time to reflect on death. Maybe it's not something we like to think about from time to time, but it's good to remind ourselves of it. You know, there's a story told about a colonel in the Israeli army who died in a battle with Hamas um, in, way back in 1968. In his wallet was found a card that spoke about death. It read, I'm standing upon the seashore a ship at my side spreads her white sails in the morning breeze and starts for the ocean. She is an object of beauty and strength. I stand and watch her until at length she is only a ribbon of white cloud, just where the sea and the sky come to mingle with each other. Then someone at my side says, there she's gone. Gone where? Gone from my sight, that is all. 
She is just uh, she is just as large in mass and hull and spar as she was when she left my side, and just as able to bear her load of living freight to the place of destination, her diminished size is in my mind and not in hers. And just at the moment when someone at my side says, "There she is gone," there are other voices ready to take up the glad shout and say, "There she comes," and that is dying. Bible is of course great uh, the teaching the poetic description on death fits in very well with the Bible's teaching on death death we know is not the end of life death is a change of life it's the beginning of the life that God ultimately had in store for us when he created us when you look at the readings today you know Paul and Timothy Timothy was afraid I think because of the suffering of Paul perhaps he was afraid that Paul was going to die Paul says, in essence, quit cowering and go and preach the gospel. Good news. Don't worry about the future. You've been promised that life in Christ, be, in, be inflamed and be inspired. And as the psalmist says, keep your eyes fixed on God. Jesus affirms this saying that God is God of the living and not of the dead. Jesus promises the Sadducees that everybody will be resurrected to a radically different perspective like angels in heaven if Paul was not worried about death how can why should Timothy be and why should we be we should never be worried about death should we not also stir into flame the spirit of God in us that we received and that we renewed last Sunday the spirit of God was given to us we're called upon to trust Jesus and God and to judge them in their mission so in these difficult times let's not be discouraged let's trust in God Let's realize that God created the world. He's not going to allow anything bad to happen to it because he loves the world. Our Lady is the Queen of the world and also Queen of Peace. Let's continue to invoke her intercession as we journey on throughout what's proven to be a summer unlike any other. God the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Now. And with your spirit. Let us pray. <coughs> Trusting in your kindness and mercy, O God, we now bring our prayers to you. <clears throat> for Pope Francis, for our bishops, our priests, and leaders of all churches around the world, that they may guide us to unity in faith and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith, <clears throat> that we may be ever open to the call to be a place of welcome and refuge to all of God's children, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of nations, that they may work to end the situation in other countries that push people to be forced to leave their homes to seek the safety of places outside of their borders. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the very tense situation here in our own country, that God may touch the minds and hearts of those who protest injustice in our streets to recoil from the temptation to violence but nevertheless express their frustration in more constructive and more effective ways we pray to the Lord Lord hear Amen. our prayer we pray that our leaders may be touched by your Holy Spirit O God to seek to understand and not to ignore the cries, the frustration, and the anger of those on the streets today, and that policies in the next few years may try to right the wrongs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to gun violence in our streets, our schools, our sanctuaries, and public spaces, 
and for a renewed commitment among leaders to protect all human lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer in mind, body, and spirit, especially those here in our hospital, and those sick around the world from the coronavirus, that your grace for healing may bring them strength, comfort, and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faithful departed, pray especially for Enrique Yamoka, who is going to be buried today. We pray also for Andrea, who passed away yesterday. That God may grant them rest and peace and comfort to their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now ask our Blessed Mother to intercede for us as we say the Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our lives, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of our womb, Jesus. O Clement, O Lord, O sweet Virgin Mary. Amen. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, hear these prayers of your people, those spoken and those in our hearts. May we ever be reminded of your love expressed in the community of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. This we are this morning and morning. May we come to share in the dignity of Christ, who humbled himself to partake in our kingdom. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Wash me in them. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Amen. We offer you sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying, that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Charles Lewang and his companions, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and on earth are full, of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna on high. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray. By sending, sending down, down your spirit, spirit upon them, them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our, our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Timothy Broglie our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Jerry Frayn, whom you have called from this life to yourself. Grant that he who is united with your Son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We remember all our deceased relatives and friends, those who have died recently, those for whom we have been asked to pray, those for whom this Mass is offered, and all the victims of the coronavirus epidemic. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with, with him, him, in him, him O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, in the unity of the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit all glory and honor is yours, yours forever and ever. ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be all thus free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Amen. Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father, and the work of the Holy Spirit, give us thy life to the Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not Amen. worthy Amen. that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Sweet sacrament divine, yeah. Oh. Of earthly home, low round thy lowly shrine, with soul and hearts we come. Jesus, to thee our voice we raise in songs of love and heartfelt praise. Sweet sacrament divine, sweet sacrament divine, sweet sacrament of peace, dear of every heart where restless yearning cease and so rose all depart therein thine are most trustfully we tell our tale of misery Sweet sacrament of peace, sweet sacrament of peace. Since we are no longer, since we can no longer receive the Lord sacramentally, let's take a few moments in the depths of our hearts and make a spiritual communion. <coughs> Let us pray. We receive this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs, Charles Lubanga and his companions. May what help them to endure torment, we pray, make us, in the face of trials, steadfast in faith and charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended now. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. In holy Queen and true above, O Maria, Hail Mother of mercy and of love, O Maria, triumphal. Cherubim, 
Sing with us, ye seraphim, have none earthly sound the hymn. Salve, 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 Regina.